With big dreams to match his huge size, Satnam Singh Bamara is a young man on a mission. The 7 foot 1 inch 15 year old is being primed to become the first Indian to play in North American basketball's NBA. The teenager with the size 22 feet has high expectations on his broad shoulders. To find out more about the youngster who's already being dubbed the Indian Yao Ming, Transworld Sport traveled to the American state of Florida, where Satnam currently lives and trains. At the moment, basketball in India is gradually getting more popular. The standard of play is getting better too. There's a good base for the sport to grow there. If I become a successful player in the future, then I believe that the popularity of basketball will increase in India. It would be great to help India become a major force in the game, just like the success of Yao Ming contributed greatly to the rise of basketball in China. I hope that any success that I achieve can benefit Indian basketball. Situated below Tampa Bay on Florida's west coast lies Bradenton. This quiet corner of the Sunshine State is home to IMG Academies, a multi-sport institute run for the development of talented youngsters. Satnam has been part of the Academy's basketball program for almost a year and is currently coached by Nate van der Sluis. It's definitely a possibility for Satnam to be the first Indian player to play in the NBA. I mean, he, he currently has NBA size. You know, that's definitely going to be one of the first things that teams look at in the future. Um, if, we can, if he continues to work hard and continues to grow and continues to become a better athlete, continues to become a better basketball player, there's no doubt he'll be one of the first Indian players ever to play in the NBA. Satnam hails from the Punjab region of India. At the age of 10, he was nearly six foot tall, and it was then that a family friend suggested he take up basketball. He enrolled at a local academy, and as he continued to grow, the youngster made rapid progress in the sport. After representing India at the 2009 Under-16 Asian Championships, he soon came to the attention of talent scouts in America. Last year, Satnam, along with seven other Indian youngsters, was awarded a four-year scholarship to attend this academy. I'm very happy to be here at this great academy. And the coaches, such as Nate, are really good. They know so much about basketball and they've been teaching me a lot. I've already learned so much in just a short space of time. For example, when I first came here, I wasn't that good at jumping, but now I'm a lot better. I've improved on simple things like that. There's still so much more for me to learn, but I'm definitely in the right place to do so. They make you work really hard here, but that's fine by me. Whatever they tell me to do, I'll do it. Satnam's basketball skills are still fairly raw, but the coaches here are confident that they can mould him into a more refined player. And, given his size, the 15-year-old certainly has the potential to make an impact at the highest level. Obviously, the first time I saw him, I was really excited. Just uh, as a big guy myself, you know, it's always fun to have another, another big guy to coach. This year, kind of my goal for him was for him to become a better athlete to be able to jump higher, to be able to move faster, to be able to move his feet quicker, to be able to get off the ground faster. You know, little things that are gonna help him in the long term. And as he starts to really improve as an athlete, we'll be able to turn him into a true post player and a dominant force underneath the basket. As well as working out on the court, a big part of Satnam's training regime includes time in the gym. Hailing from a farming family, Satnam, whose father is seven foot two and whose grandmother is six foot nine, has always had natural strength. Since he's been here, great emphasis has been placed on toning up his huge frame and developing muscle definition. I definitely think one of our biggest strengths is uh, our facilities. You know, we do have great facilities. Our weight room is just amazing. The IMG Performance Institute does a great job of working with our guys, specifically, you know, Coach Stefan Visk does an awesome job. He really has great energy with our guys, really makes them bring it every single day. 
and there's no doubt that he's going to continue to get stronger. He's going to continue to get quicker. As he continues to work, he's just going to become a better and better player. There's no doubt. Satnam has settled well into his first year of life in America. He attends the school on the academy's campus. Considering that he didn't speak a word of English when he arrived here 10 months ago, his language skills have improved dramatically, thanks to the extra classes that he's been taking. Rich O'Dell is school principal. He's done a great job of becoming part of the community. He has uh, looked upon himself initially as somebody who, because of his size, was intimidating to people. But as he has gotten more comfortable with the command of the English language, he's found a way to use that as an introduction for himself. So what he does now is walks up and engages in conversation with people because he wants to practice his English. The academy is a cosmopolitan place with around 1,200 youngsters from over 80 countries in attendance here. The majority live on site in purpose-built apartment blocks. I think uh, he settled in really well. You know, he's a fun-loving kid. He likes to, likes to hang out and, and be with his friends and joke and, and do different things. I think, uh, you know, making the transition has really been helped by having all the other Indian kids here. Uh, you know, if he was just here by himself, I think it would have been a lot harder on him. He would have had a lot more homesickness, a lot more uh, difficulties in terms of transitioning to be here. Satnam and the other Indian children on the scholarship program have a full-time chaperone at the academy. Harshit Shah acts as translator, friend, advisor, and he also accompanies the youngsters when they venture away from the campus. On the day that Transworld Sport was in town, Satnam and his friends took a trip to the nearby Bradenton Beach. I really enjoy it when we get taken to the beach. Going there gives us the chance to relax and go in the water. After all the hard weeks and months of practice that we do, it's something we all look forward to. We try to make going to the beach a regular thing that we do. The beaches of Florida are a far cry from the fields and villages of northern India where Satnam grew up. He returns home occasionally, though, and loves getting reacquainted with his mum's cooking. I really miss Indian food. I love my own food. Things like Indian bread and lentil soup, they're two of my favorites. I love eating Indian food. Just thinking about it makes me hungry. Over the past few months, Satnam has become something of a celebrity back in his homeland. The teenager's story has been covered extensively in the Indian media, and if he were to become the first Indian player to make the NBA, his status could rival that of India's cricket stars. The NBA is determined to crack the Indian market, and they've been investing a lot of time and effort in promoting the game in the nation of over one billion people. They're watching Satnam's development with great interest and are hopeful that he can be a trailblazer for the sport in India in much the same way that the success of former NBA star Yao Ming led to the basketball boom in China. You know, Yao Ming was, was definitely a special case and uh, I think that Satnam is also a special case. You know, he's got, he's got that natural size, he's got some natural ability, he's got great hands similar to Yao Ming. He's got a good footwork that's similar to Yao Ming. You know, Yao Ming wasn't an explosive athlete. You know, neither is Satnam. But at the same time, I think Satnam loves the game, and I think Yao Ming loved the game. So I think that, you know, there's a lot of similarities between those two guys. And hopefully, you know, if Satnam keeps working, he'll have that same career that Yao Ming had. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.